Hey folks, yours truly Gavin Syme here, and today we're gonna pop into Aperture and take a quick look at installing and managing presets. Presets are a huge time saver. We have the adjustments panel here. Here's the effects. There are some default presets in Aperture, and there's a lot of stuff we can add, a lot of other presets that can be added in, and they can save a lot of time that can really help out your workflow, bring new creative options in. Presets are really powerful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to install presets real fast. It's very simple, but it's a question we get fairly often in relation to our preset collections that we have over at simeffects.com. So I'm gonna go to Lightflow to start with, and this is a workhorse presets collection geared towards workflow. There's a little bit of everything in here from black and white to color to automations, all that kind of stuff. So here's the main file. I go to the presets, and the nice thing about Aperture is they're all bundled in. The whole collection is bundled into this one file in this dot adjustment presets file. All I actually have to do is go over here to the dock and drag this into Aperture, and we see now that it appears. There's Lightflow, all the presets. You can see the previews of it, all that stuff right there, okay? Now there's another way to install it. Let's go to the effects panel. Again, we're in the adjustments tab. Go to the effects drop down and go to edit effects. Okay, now we get the effect presets dialog box that pops up here and we see that we have Lightflow, which we just imported. Let's import another set and this time I'm going to use the import function from here. So I'm just going to click import from the little drop down in the bottom left corner and I'm going to browse to color flow this time and this is a collection dedicated to color effects. So I'm just going to click again the dot adjustment presets file and I'm going to import that. It's going to bring it right in here. Now what I'm going to do is I want to click OK. If you click cancel it actually will cancel and it'll undo what you just did. So you click OK and that'll commit those changes and now you see we have both of those. Okay so I could take this and let's just go in. I'm going to switch to the split view real quick and I could go into say color flow and apply the Kodachrome inspired preset and it's going to go like that and apply the preset. So that's one way. Of course we can apply presets right from here and if I add another preset now it's actually going to combine it. So if I put a vignette on top of this it's going to add it to the top of what I just added. Okay unless I hold the option key. So there's different vignettes and I could be adding these vignettes. On the other hand if I wanted to undo that, if I went to a preset now and I wanted to apply, let's say the super simple preset, if I held the option key, it would actually overwrite everything as it was doing it and just apply that new preset. So two different ways to do it. If you want to combine and continue adding panels from different presets, you can just do it. If you want to overwrite, you can just hold down the option key while applying that preset. Okay, let's go back to the browser view. Now let's say I want to do multiples. Here's a, a trick that some people don't realize. What you do is you select multiple images within the browser view, but one of them is our highlighted image. If I just go to here and apply a preset, what it's going to do is we're just going to end up with the active image. So let's say I apply everyday black and white. What it's going to do is it's just going to apply the black and white to that one selected image. If you want to do it to a batch, and this is great for workflow, you know, if we go into something like Lightflow, there's a lot of simple but powerful tools meant for batch corrections. And all you have to do is you select however many images you want. So you got two, you got a hundred, maybe you just imported a job and you want to apply a general purpose preset to all of them. What you want to do is you want to actually go up to the photos menu and you're going to add an effect and we see the same folders and all our presets are right here. So let's just go to Lightflow and do a super gentle preset. This is a great batch preset. Now it's going to apply to all these images that are selected. And you can see them changing. That's a fairly delicate preset. Let's do something a little bolder and go to light flow and do something like the everyday black and white and you'll see it now change all of these that are selected. So two different ways to apply presets. You can do it up from the photos menu or you can do it individually if you're just working on an image and you can grab them right here from the effects menu. Now real quick we'll go in and take a look at the edit effects menu again because there's a few things you can do. Of course you have your folders that we've imported and you can make new folders. You can go down here and you can make new groups. So let's call it uh, new group. And now we've got this new folder. Okay. So it's not showing up in here yet because there's nothing in it. There's no presets in it. But let's say I applied this preset and then I, I did some tweaks to it and I modified it and I worked with it a little bit. Added a little more recovery. 
and maybe I want to save that again. So I can go back to the effects menu, save it as a new effect, and I'll just call it test for now. Okay, so now that's a new preset. I'm going to drag it into that, into that new group we made. So I've just made a new group. So you can make presets this way. You can also rearrange and reorganize presets. And there it is right there. Let's go back to Edit Effects. Now, with our preset collections, they're pretty well organized to start. They're geared for workflow, and they're really nice and tidy. they got numbers and categories and all that. And some people like that. Some people still want to rearrange. So this is how you're going to rearrange, is you go into here, and you can drag things around and move them. You can also select individual presets within the folders. And over here, you can actually see the different panels that are a part of that preset. And you could click on any one of those to remove it. So maybe you save a preset and you didn't actually want the exposure panel included in that. You can just remove it right from there. And when you press OK, it's going to save. And if you want to save out a copy, it's great to make a backup on your backup drive or something like that. You can actually take a group of presets and just go down here to Export. And we can just save that. So let's just put it on the desktop. And you see that it's called new group dot adjustment presets. And what we're doing is just exporting that package of presets. And if we go out to the desktop now, we'll see it right there. And that's all there is to it. So that is the basics of installing and managing presets with an Aperture. They're a very powerful tool. They're very easy to use. And they actually give you more creativity because what presets do is you apply a preset and then you can tweak it a little bit if you want. You can try a lot more effects than you would by manually going through it. So I'm very much a slow down and take your time kind of guy. My goal with my images is not to make my images look like anyone else's. What I do with presets is I can apply these presets and get different looks and get a direction that fits my visualization for an image, tweak it as needed, and really save myself a lot of time. And if I'm doing a portrait or a wedding or something like that where workflow is really important, that kind of batch ability is really powerful. So get into that adjustment panel, play with those presets, and of course you can check out the collections we were talking about today over at simeffects.com along with our cinematic video workshops and all kinds of other good stuff. So head over and check that out. But enjoy and have a good one.